face to face with the Broncos' first team all pro cornerback Chris Harris Jr. backing up that Super Bowl with a yeah. great season. It's great to see you today. Thanks for having me. Happy oh, yeah. Super Bowl. I know I get a couple more hours to enjoy uh, being the champs. For a couple I tell more you hours. what, you got it. You got about nine hours. So relish yeah. in that. Oh, what's your memory that bubbles right to the surface? The first thing you yeah. think about when you think about a year ago. Just having that confetti come down and um, doing the interviews after the game with my daughter, I think that was like something that I always remember. And uh, it's just the experience happened so fast. And you wish you could do it again. It's so interesting because yeah. the Panthers came in with the MVP, obviously, and Cam Newton, this high-flying offense that's similar to what the Falcons are coming in with today. Yeah. Take me through the mentality of being on the yeah. other side of that, of your defense, which really got to them right from the get-go. Yeah. Uh, you want to come out early. you got to get a jump on the team early, especially in the Super Bowl because that momentum is huge. And uh, So I would think whoever scores first, whoever jumps on uh, jumps on the board first, I think has the best chance of winning. Yeah, the Falcons have done that now in eight yeah. straight games, scoring on their first possession. But I guess if you're on the other side of the ball, you want to set the tone for the game right away. That's what you oh, yeah. guys did last year. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, Von Miller on the strip sack. Uh, I mean, that kind of like changed the game. And uh, Malik Jackson with the touchdown. To come in with that momentum, especially on defense, you're going to need that. And especially with the Atlanta Falcons, they are young uh, secondary. and mm -hmm. they're, So they're going to need some confidence going against Tom Brady pretty early. Right. So what would you tell them? I mean, you held the yeah. Patriots to 16 points, right, in Week 15. You held them to 18 points in your yeah. AFC Championship game. So you guys have had as much success against them as anybody. Yeah. What advice would you give those young backs? Uh, I would tell them get up in those receivers. Uh, make sure you press them. Uh, put hands on those guys. And uh, uh, that will help their D-line be able to get to Tom Brady and it's all about communication uh, they're gonna have Tom Brady's gonna come out here with no huddle offense and so they have to be able to be all on the same page and that's gonna be huge all right so take me to the other side because you're an expert because you basically yeah. face both teams so you lost to the Falcons back in week five yeah. uh, 23 to 16 and their running backs yeah. had over 160 receiving yards in that game and a touchdown what's yeah. it like facing them uh, me and the key, we were able to slow down Julio Jones, but those other running backs, they just tore us apart. And uh, that's what they have in Atlanta. They have multiple uh, skill play skill players that can make plays. And uh, we always kind of compare uh, the running backs, kind of how me and the key are as a combo, as a duo with Freeman and and Coleman, the way they're so dynamic in the receiving end and the running back. So it's going to be a great game. I like this matchup. Uh, you talk about you and Akib, all that incredible talent on defense, yeah. uh, Von Miller and the like, even despite uh, some of the changes. Uh, you guys yeah. still had a solid season. Offensively, this team had issues. And there were yeah. some thoughts from the outside that, that the two sides uh, weren't getting along. What's the yeah. reality inside your locker yeah. room? Take me in there. I mean, we were. I mean, it was a lot of bumping heads, but I mean, it's it, we, everybody wants to win, and uh, when when everybody feels like nobody, everybody's not pulling their way. Uh, I mean, it, it, you definitely had a little controversy, but I think that happens on every team, and uh, we're excited about the new pieces that Elway's brought in, especially with Musgrave and uh, Mike McCoy, being able to develop quarterbacks and have great offensive schemes. So uh, I'm looking forward to what we do this year on the offensive side of the ball and uh, just talking to DT and Emmanuel. They're pretty happy. All right. And finally, who wins yeah. the Super Bowl today, my friend? Uh, I got to go with the New England Patriots. It's hard, it's hard to say. but uh, Why? It's just because Atlanta Falcons guys, they're secondary. Um, a lot of people on their defense, they've never played against Tom Brady. And when you don't, I mean, you never had experience of playing against this guy. Uh, you're at a huge disadvantage. And so I'm going to go with the New England Patriots on this one. All right. Something to look for. Chris yeah. Harris, Jr., great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for always chatting with us on Face to Face and enjoy the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. It should be Again, a great game. Defending champ for a few more hours. There Gotta you go. Enjoy it. <laughs>